Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today we're gonna talk about the new Shea Moisture line, which is the Peace Rose Oil Complex Collection. First of all, can we talk about these new bottles? I absolutely love these new squeeze bottles because I personally am just not a fan of products that have pumps like this. So here's their older bottle for the Jamaican Black Castor Oil, but it's really hard to like hold this with one hand and you're like cranking over here when you're in the shower because this thing gets slippery and you're pumping really hard and if it's a really thick product, it's just doing too much. But now with the squeeze bottles, just boop, good to go. I saw this thing online where Shea Moisture said that they are listening to all the comments that we have to say and they're taking our advice and one of them was the squeeze bottle. So thank you for the squeeze bottles. Not only is it convenient, I just think they look super cute. Like now they're these long, pretty pink bottles and I'm all about presentation. Now I recently just got three different new lines from Shea Moisture and I didn't know which one I wanted to review for you guys first, but then I picked up the bottle. Look how cute my nails look up against this bottle. So yeah, I really had no choice. So I have the shampoo and conditioner. The full name is the Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silken Shampoo, as well as the Peace Rose Oil Complex Nourish and Silken Conditioner. Now right on the front, it says no sulfates, no parabens, no mineral oil, no propylene glycol, no phthalates, and no animal testing. And like I said in my last video about checking products, make sure you always check the back. And yep, they are telling the truth. Now right on the front of the bottle, it says it's supposed to hydrate and soften dry and brittle hair. So if you have dry hair, this one's for you. Along with the shampoo and conditioner, I also have the two styling products. This is their styling gel cream and this is their hold mist. Now the first thing I have to say about this line is that it smells amazing. It's definitely the best smelling Shea Moisture line that I've tried and I've tried a lot. If you like the fruity scents, this one is not a fruity scent. This one does smell like roses, literally like roses. It's amazing. It has a very strong perfume floral scent. Next time you go to Target and you see this, just open the bottle and take a little whiff. I don't know if I'm allowed to be telling you that. Okay, I mean, don't get weird about it. Like don't stick your nose in it or like lick it or anything. Just take a quick smell and just, you know, just test the scents. It's not a problem, right? Now let me tell you about the shampoo. Although it is sulfate free, it has some other type of alternative, so we still get the bubbly sensation. I know that there's like no poos out there that don't lather at all, but I just honestly feel really weird when my shampoo doesn't have any bubbles. Like I feel like I'm not cleaning my hair and I'm probably applying more product than I need to because I'm waiting for the bubbles, but they never come. So although products that don't have the bubbles, I know that they're actually doing just fine for my hair and they are cleaning my hair, I personally just like the bubbly sensation. And luckily, a lot of hair companies have found alternatives so that it can be sulfate free, which creates the bubbles, but not actually have sulfate. So we still get that bubbly, you know, commercial feel when we wash our hair. Now with the conditioner, a little did go a long way. I mean, I'm not gonna use like a dime size because as curly girls, we never use a dime size of conditioner. But it did do really well. It had pretty good slip and I enjoyed the smell. I know that these are in Target and they're $8.99 a piece and you also can order these online as well. Now let's talk about the styling gel. Anytime I hear the word gel, I do get a little nervous because when I think of gel, I think of my old gel and I think of crunchy curls. But I did apply this to my hair and it had a slight hold in the beginning but as the day went on, they softened up. It was not like a stiff curl where I could like lift it and it would just be straight up. It's not that bad. So it did leave nice defined curls without the crunch. So this is approved. And if you guys watch my other videos, you know that one of my main concerns when doing styling products that I just like to use one. I don't really like to mix a lot of products. And this product did work for me and my curls all on its own. And once again, smells amazing. This stuff made my hair smell like flowers all day. Sometimes products smell good just when you put them on and like the scent eventually wears off. This scent does not wear off. I went to the gym the next day and my hair still smelled good after the gym. Just say. So if you don't like floral scents or like your nose is sensitive, it might be a little too much for you. But if you want to walk around and just let the world get a whiff of your curls, you're gonna love it. Once I applied this product, I just wanted to go around and like hug everybody so that their face would be all up in my curls. And I could be like, oh my God, your curls smell amazing. And then I could be like, I know, right? 
The styling gel is currently $11.99 at Target and also on their website. And now the styling mist. I had a mixed relationship with mists before. I didn't really know like what to do with them because I figured if I put on one product then it was fine. What is the mist for? But I have now started using mists for second day curls. So technically I washed my hair with this product and applied the gel yesterday. Went to the gym today, took a shower, didn't wash my hair. But to revive my curls, instead of adding more product like creams like I usually do, I'm now using mist on my second day hair. So what I do, I apply some water to my hair and then I squirt some of this mist all around it. Then I mix it in there and boom, that is how I got these day two curls. And usually, you know, day two, day three could be better than day one, but I still have that great definition and just enough hold on top from the styling mist, which says it's going to add shine and hold. And I think it did. And the mist also has the rose scent. My mom just said someone smells good and I knew she was talking about me. Watch this. Hey mommy, yeah. can you come here? Come smell my hair. Come smell your, wait, I'm not gonna be on film or anything. You are. No, no. <laughs> you want it? Just real quick. No, but I haven't worn makeup on. Come smell my hair. Mmm, yummy. What's it smell like? I don't know. It's roses. Oh, it is roses. It smells like the roses at Mama's house. Sure does. It smells good, huh? Mm -hmm. There you go. Proof. Now, although that they are a much prettier and sleeker bottle, now you can put two bottles side by side in your little like bathtub corner. These old bottles do contain more product. So this bottle is 10.3 fluid ounces and then these are 13 fluid ounces. So you're losing about three ounces with the new bottles, but I don't know. I should look into the prices. So according to the website, their old conditioner bottles seem to be $10.99. So if these squeeze bottles are $8.99, then they did notice the size difference and they made these a little bit cheaper. If you guys see this in stores compared to the tall bottles and the old bottles that they have both, let me know, leave me a comment and let us all know if the prices are different. But that is the only difference and I honestly, if I had to choose, I'd buy the squeeze bottles. So that is my quick review on the new Peace Rose Shea Moisture line. I do love and approve these products. I will say that this is the best smelling Shea Moisture line. The shampoo conditioner worked great and the styling products worked well all on their own. These are my results using only these products. Now I actually got two more lines from Shea Moisture. If you wanna know what they are, Follow me on Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. You also can follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. And you guys will always be the first to know what my next video is going to be. So go ahead and follow me right now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every Sunday. And I'm also trying to try as many curly hair products as possible. So make sure you come back next week to see what I review next. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.